Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marcy, if you are new here, if you are a returning subscriber, I thank you for coming as well, showing your girl some love. It's a bit hot outside, it's hot in here. That's why I have my fan. You know, I'm ready for a white party this summer, y'all. I'm ready to wear some stunning white bottle, white party worthy fragrances, and that's what we're gonna be discussing today. So if you like my content, if you, and if you like what I'm gonna be discussing, please continue to watch, like, comment, subscribe to those new people because I know you've already subscribed to my channel. You know, turn on those notification bells so that every time your girl uploads a video, you'll be the first one to give me your recommendation, leave a comment, give me your feedback or whatever else you wanna talk about for the day. I'm open to talk about anything out, well, just about anything. I'm really excited because um, in about three weeks, I'm gonna be doing my very first vlog. You all know that I started my channel with fragrances and I absolutely love fragrances, you know, just watching YouTube. And I was like, you know what? I have hundreds of fragrances. I should be doing this as well. I love going on vacations. That's like, you know, that's my thing. You know, I love taking a break from society, our world in America, just traveling, doing, um, you know, volunteer work and just getting to know uh, the world, you know, as God has us, as God would have us to do. So, um, I'm gonna be doing my first vlog, y'all, and it's gonna be exciting, you know. Let me know what you think when it's done. I'm sure you all are going to be watching it, and uh, we're gonna be doing that vlog in Costa Rica. So, you know, uh, fingers crossed, everything goes well, and then you'll be seeing me in about three weeks in Costa Rica. So today, we're gonna be discussing white party-worthy fragrances. All of these are in white bottles. They're beautiful bottles, stunning fragrances. You have some fruity, you have some floral, you have some musky, you have some woody, you have some sweet. You have a combination of yellow and white florals. All of these um, fragrances today are stunning. And um, without further ado, let's get into it, y'all. Oh, uh, follow me on Instagram. It's Marcemello, M-A-R-C-E-M-E-L-L-0-W. I don't know in your part of the world um, if you're going to be having white parties, but every time that I've attended a white party, it was so stunning and it was so angelic and just, you know, a beautiful scene. Everybody dressed in all white, you know, just, um, you know, posh behavior, you know, um, amazing music, beautiful food, beautiful people, you know, getting back to what we did a couple of years, a couple of years ago, you know, it's going to be amazing to be around people. Be safe though, you know, we, we definitely have to still wear our mask and be safe within reason, y'all. So anyway, let's get into these uh, white party worthy fragrances, y'all. I hope you like what I have on. I decided to dress in all white. I would actually wear something like this to a white party. Um, this is more of a casual white party. I actually have on this white silk robe. Um, you can wear this robe to bed or you can wear it out. I have on some white jeans and then I just have on like a white tank. I threw some gold jewelry on as some accessories and I'm ready to go. These beautiful earrings here. These came from Cartagena. You know, they were handmade, handcrafted in Cartagena. They're stunning, a very soft. These are beads on the end and it's pretty soft. And this is gold. So absolutely love, you all know I absolutely love jewelry and then my earring just came off. So let's just put this back on y'all. <laughs> so anyway, the first fragrance, is, fragrance that we're gonna be getting into um, is, is Andromeda. Andromeda by Tiziana Terenzi. Stunning white bottle, right? Look at that, just beautiful, adorned, gorgeous, just amazing. So in this, you have your jasmine, bergamot, there's every flower is in here white yellow everything jasmine bergamot heliotrope you have some lily rose white heliotrope you have pear blossom coconut sugar vanilla amber and peach this is an absolutely amazing fragrance to wear to a white party it's very sweet it's very tropical you're going to get an amazing sillage out of this when you walk past somebody and the wind blows it blows your beautiful amazing silk white dress or your white hat that you're going to be wearing Andromeda will be beautiful for a, a white party. The next fragrance we have, we're gonna talk about Rehab, and this may be a white party at night. So this Rehab is a little musky, and this is by Initio. An amazing, stunning fragrance as well, though. So in Rehab, you have your lavender, bergamot, sandalwood, and musk, and there are a couple other notes as well, but we're gonna focus on the ones that are very projecting. So you get a really soft lavender inside. I'm gonna go ahead and spray this, very soft. 
very soft, musky lavender. You get a little bit of that citrusy, citrusy note from the bergamot, the sandalwood, which makes it creamy and sweet. Y'all, Rehab is definitely evening, night, white party worthy and is a stunning fragrance, men or women. Next, we have our baby. Everybody know this is our baby, True Sardi. True Sardi is definitely white party worthy. It's an amazing fragrance. In here, it's so citrusy, creamy. Let's go ahead and um, spray True Sardi one time. Delicious. Most, almost all of these fragrances that I'm talking about today have amazing performance. Yeah, just about all of them, except for one, and I'll mention that one, okay? Um, the other one has moderate performance. But Trusardi is a cit citrusy, creamy. There's yuzu in here. There's African orange flower. There's Amalfi lemon in here. There's some sandalwood. Oh, I just smell it. It's such a stunning fragrance. I have fallen completely in love with this fragrance in 2021 and nobody could tell me anything different. And a lot of other people have fallen in love with True Sardi as well. This is an amazing find of 2021 and I'm so glad I have it. So next we have, um, also I was going to mention the True Sardi EDT. Um, I don't have that one here with me, but I should. Uh, but the True Sardi EDT is amazing as well. That one has a note of yuzu melon. It has jasmine tea, vanilla, lotus. Um, it's very, it's not creamy and um, it doesn't have that um, sandalwood scent, but it is an amazing fresh melon yuzu citrusy scent. And that's True Sardi EDT. Uh, next, we have my other amazing find this year. You know, I found this about three weeks ago. I was on kind of like a vacation a little bit in Atlanta, helping my mom move from Cincinnati to Atlanta. So I decided to go to Nordstrom's because I completely missed my fragrances. And you know, I needed some life. I needed some fragrance life, y'all. So I decided to go to Nordstrom's and I purchased Mont Blanc. Do not purchase this at Nordstrom's. You can purchase this for half the price, y'all. Um, I was just in one of my, you know, modes of, you know, wanting to purchase a fragrance. So anyway, Mont Blanc. Whew, this is uh, this is amazing. I try not to use the word amazing too much because I know you guys are like, she's always using amazing, but it's amazing. This right here, Mont Blanc. Now, when I did my video, I do have a review on Mont Blanc. I told you all that I did love the scent or I, I really like the scent. I After wearing the scent for like six days straight out there, I fell completely in love. The performance is great. The longevity is great. This smells like creamy clementines, like a creamy orange sickle with a little bit of lemon zest sprinkled on top. I don't know if you've had an orange sickle with the vanilla and the orange on the outside, uh, but that's exactly what this smells like. I don't know how old you are, but if you remember Orange Julius back in the day where you bought the hot dogs from and you bought like the little um, creamy orange juice, um, I think it was vanilla ice cream orange juice and it had a little bit of 7-Up inside and it was foamy on the top, it was delicious. Uh, but or this smells like Orange Julius, a sparkling clementine citrusy Oh, this is amazing, creamy note. So in this, let's get to the fragrance, y'all. You have to get this. This makes you just want to deep breathe, y'all. This fragrance, I actually, when I got home, you all, I brought a backup bottle for this. So that's how much I love Mont Blanc Signature. And to think that this company makes pens is beyond me, you know, but they made a stunning fragrance. So in this, you have your clementine, magnolia, peony, uh, vanilla, benzoin, and white musk. You get that citrusy, creamy, sweet note, but you also get a little bit of florals, like a slight floral note, but mainly this is a creamy, clementine, lemony bomb, but you really get the orange notes. Amazing, stunning fragrance. I'm gonna stop talking about this. Get Mont Blanc Signature. Oh, anyway, I'm not going to say no more about it, okay? 
<laughs> so next we have, um, and this is for the grown grown, y'all. Um, and I would say you can wear this any time of the day. If you love the note of gardenia, a musky gardenia, or just musky scents, you're gonna love Narciso Rodriguez, Narciso. And in this, you have gardenia, rose, vetiver, you have cedar, you have musk. This fragrance is beast mode, y'all. So be careful on how much you spray because you might only need no more than uh, maybe two sprays on the skin and two sprays on the clothes. But you definitely get that gardenia, the musky note, and the cedar. This is a stunning, creamy floral fragrance. Absolutely love this. I wore this in the heat when I was in Ghana and it performed very well. Yes, you can wear musk in the heat. It is delicious, y'all. So anyway, Narciso Rodriguez, Narciso. Next we have, and this is the one that I said, um, this is uh, Draje, and this is by the House of Reminiscence. Um, this performance is mild, and this is the only one. All of the other ones, they perform pretty beast mode. Um, this smells pretty much like a candied lactonic Jordan almond. Um, this is reminiscent of Killian's Love Don't Be Shy, uh, people would say, but to me, it smells like that, but it also has a little bit of a lactonic note as well. It's not as sweet as Killian Love Don't Be Shy. It's a little calm. So if you don't have the coins for Killian Love Don't Be Shy, then you might want to try Dra Draje, okay? This is a really good, this is a great bedtime scent, daytime, nighttime, whatever. It's a very creamy, sweet, you know, um, lactonic, marshmallowy, Jordan candy smelling scent. It's really, really good, y'all. This is amazing. This is a sweet fragrance. So if you love sweet, if you love a gourmand, smells like marshmallows, um, get this. And this is Draje by Reminiscence. So next we have Tom Ford's So Lil Blanc. We all know what this smells like. Tuberose, creamy, you know, um, florals. Um, it smells like the beach. It's a stunning fragrance, but you know, it smells like coconut, coconut to co creamy coconut tuberose. But if you can't afford the coins of Mont Blanc, we have a dupe for that. And this is Just Jack and this is Simply Blanc. They smell almost identical, y'all. So every time you hear me talk about Mont Blanc, you might see Simply Jack um, sorry, you might see Just Jack Simply Blanc. These are both stunning fragrances, so creamy, coconutty. I got a little more alcohol in the opening of Tom Ford. I get none of that in uh, Just Jack Simply Blanc. Man, I'm telling you, Just Jack Simply Blanc, get your nose on this. Um, this was at Fragrance Buy for $30, y'all. You can't go wrong, get it. You can have the EDT, and you can use this as the EDP as well. So it's it's they're both amazing. Next we have Parada. Um, this was a really a, a new buy for me. Um, purchase this. This is a really nice fragrance. You do have to overspray Parada. It's really musky, uh, light floral fragrance, but it's a really good fragrance. So um, everybody talks about this, so we all know what it smells like. Uh, so get your nose on Parada La Femme. A really good fragrance, but you definitely have to um, overspray this one, but you still get a good sillage, a performance. I would say I'd spray this at least 10 times. Definitely white party worthy. So without further ado, we're gonna get into the unboxing. I hope you made it this far so that you can have this amazing surprise. I hope you didn't skip, like, you know, uh, re uh, what is it? Uh, fast forward, not rewind. I hope you didn't fast forward and you listen to all of my amazing recommendations for a white party. So um, the most amazing scent, I believe, um, that will shine this year for a white party. I was so stubborn and really didn't want to buy it, you know, but I kept thinking about it, y'all. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to get it. I've smelled it a couple times. I really, I smelled it about a year ago, a couple times, but I've always had my eye on it for over a year and um, I've been contemplating buying it, but I just didn't want to pay for it. So I finally found it on a site where I got about 15, 20% off and it was a pretty good deal. So this is a Creed Aventus for her. This is going to be an amazing fragrance for the summer, for a white party, just summer in general, but definitely for a beautiful white party. So let's get into an unboxing. It's not a first impressions because I really don't know um, 
I would, it's, it's not a first impression, but I would say almost because I really don't remember what this smells like. I remember that it was sparkling and it was uh, slightly citrusy. I remember it having like a little patchouli note inside uh, because it almost reminded me of Byredo Ball de Freak. You know, it has that like um, citrusy black currants, um, a dirty patchouli smell a little bit, but also fresh at the same time. So anyway, let's go ahead and get into the notes of um, Creed events. This is uh, Events is for Her by Creed. Sorry, I was going to say Creed Events is for Her, but it's the same thing, y'all. So anyway, the notes, you have green apple, bergamot, pink pepper. You do get the patchouli, so I remember a little bit. Um, you have lemon, rose, musk. You have black currant, peach, amber, ylang ylang. You have everything in here, y'all. So this is definitely, hopefully, an amazing summer fragrance. I'm going to go ahead and spray this on as my scent of the day. So this is an unboxing of Cree. And I'm, I'm actually really happy that I received this. And this bottle is stunning, y'all. Amazing. Beautiful, beautiful bottle. So let's go ahead and spray this baby on. Beautiful top. All right, this is the telltale all. Yeah, it's my scent of the day, so I'm gonna spray. <laughs> Definitely can't waste this, that's for sure. All right, so. Let's let this dry down a little bit. Wish I was going to a white party today, y'all, because I would be ready to go. Yes, you get the green apple. I'm getting the black currant, you know, that dark berry jammy note, but definitely getting some muskiness, sandal with the patchouli. The sweetness, the green apple is really projecting. This is good. You know, I'm really glad that I did get this. Definitely a fresh, fresh, airy fragrance. You know, um, the pink pepper, I really don't smell, but you know, there's a little bit of, not spiciness, but I think it's it's just helping the pink pepper. It's just helping to give more projection to that bergamot and the green apple. The lemon, the rose. Oh, this is good. This is so good. As it starts to dry down, initially you got that black currant, the green apple. You got that lemon, the bergamot, and the sweetness from the sandalwood, the muskiness. But now. I'm, as it dries down, I'm getting the lemon and the rose. Yeah, anyway, this is a, an amazing fragrance and I'm so glad after about a year, I finally purchased Creed Aventus for her. So I'm a happy camper now and I'm done, okay? This is probably the only Creed that I will probably ever purchase. Um, and that is that. So I hope you all enjoyed my rendition of white party worthy fragrances. You know, you need to get ready for some white parties. Um, get ready to just have some fun this summer uh, within reasoning and, you know, make sure that you're safe. And um, I'm really excited, like I said, about this vlogging. And um, we're gonna talk about the fragrances that I will be taking with me on vacation in another video. And we're just gonna have some fun for the next couple weeks until um, you know I'm off to another side of the world. So anyway, thank you all for joining me today. I hope you're having an amazing Sunday. Be blessed, go out into the world, spread amazing siage, give love, do good, be good. And you know, like I said, be blessed everyone. Bye-bye.